Today we're going to be doing a Qualitative Habitat Evaluation Index Assessment, also known as a QHEI, on Mill Creek. This site is the uh, first site upstream of our combined sewer overflows. So this is uh, typically a reference site that we use for downstream monitoring. Um, it's also a site we've been doing for a number of years, so we're tracking the changes in the bug and fish community. The purpose of the QHEI is to assess the habitat that would be important for fish communities. So we're looking for things like substrate, in-stream cover, um, pools, riffles, runs, things like that. We'll look at what the banks look like, what the surrounding land use is, which could play a role in water quality. This right here is considered a riffle. It's very shallow, the water moves quickly, and you can see the water surface breaking over the rocks. And you want it to be deep enough that it can actually support fish species. Um, if you have a really, really shallow riffle, it may not actually be all that functional. So ideally you want it 10 centimeters or more. And then this faster section of water down here at the bottom is a run, and then it goes into a pool, which is kind of this area down here. I have to make a stream drawing on the back of the page. These here are called root mats. They're little root fibers that stick into the water and these provide a sheltering habitat for the fish. So here where it's shallow, you've got several different kinds of rocks. This is called a boulder slab. These are boulders, they're generally more rounded in appearance. As you move down in size, you'll get cobble, which are kind of these different sized stones here. Um, gravel is like your driveway gravel, so it's some of these smaller rocks. And then sand. The more spaces between the bigger rocks that are filled in, that's evidence of embeddedness, which is actually not very good. You want to have these big rocks, and they should be easy to move. If they're essentially cemented in place, then that's not very good, and that's not going to score well. Sinuosity has to do with how many times the stream bends. Um, the more, the better, definitely. It, um, plays a big role in some of the habitat that you'll see. Typically on the inside of a bend it'll be shallow, the outside will be really deep. And then as the water continues to move you'll have a good potential for like undercut banks. So this is my completed stream drawing of this section. Very realistic. This is the completed sheet. There's um, quite a bit of substrates that we found mm -hmm. in the riffles and the pools. So that will score score very well. Uh, we also got a good variety of current velocity, some really deep pools there, some erosion on the sides, but you know, not not extensive. The maximum a score a stream can receive is 100. This one, probably mid to upper 70s, I would guess. So this one should do pretty well.